Hey everyone, today we have a very special video where we're gonna do a real estate vlog. I have a friend who is selling his property in his restaurant and he's got a very unique story and he wants to show the world that this is for sale and a little bit about himself and the property. So let's talk to my friend Kent. Kent, how's it going? Fine. You ready to sell your place? Not really, <laughs> but it's gonna take place anyway. Well, tell me a little bit about your history of how you arrived here and, and purchased this property. Well, I met my wife online um, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, and uh, came down here to visit her and got to know her. She brought her back to the U.S. and married her, and 12 years later, here we are in the Philippines. Um, and this is our property that we bought. It's a little over 2,000, it's about 2,000 square meters. Um, but those are divided, and I'll explain what, how those are divided later. Um, but if you want, this is the roadway, main road, the main national highway that comes in. Got the guard shack here, or a store, or whatever you want it to be. My wife did all this landscaping. Oops, got a delivery behind you, Tim. Yep, it's a, it's a working business and home. Uh, you can turn that into a store or room for rent, whatever you want. The fence lines are, of course, the property. My wife did all this landscaping. This was a complete jungle when we bought it. We cleared over 30 coconut trees. I think it was 30. I'm not, I don't remember now. Um, and we left some in place, like along the driveway here that I knew was going to come in. So those worked out perfectly there. Then the, fence, the property line cuts right here at this corner and goes back that way to that other fence line. Just got storage and, and uh, stuff over here for the staff. And then the house that I built. We cleared all this. This is uh, about a half a meter higher than the property next to us because of all the fill dirt I brought in. Do you know how many trucks you brought in? Oh God, probably 40. And um, they were 10 yard pickups, so 400 yards of dirt. Nice. Yeah, Four, uh, 400, I, I'm sorry, 400 cubic meters. Oh. And yeah, a lot uh, of beautiful trees here, a really gorgeous place. And here is the house itself. All the fence posts around the entire property are all hardwoods. This is hardwood, and all that came after Odette. Uh, we used all the wood that we could find uh, to build things, and we built, you know, the fence. We built these, st these steps going up. So, real quickly for for the viewer, um, we had a typhoon here in what was it, late 2021? 20, 21, December 21. And so, a lot of trees came down, and then a lot of hardwood that 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 uh, wasn't normally available to uh, cut and make into things became available because once the trees come down, you're able to. Go ahead and uh, and and get get that. So a lot of what was used on the the home, which was being constructed during that time, uh, and actually the construction was affected a little bit, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was the restaurant where all the other stuff went. The home is uh, very little wood, but the wood that is in there is 100% uh, mahogany. So most of the home has already sur survived. The home the home was 85% complete during Odette, and there was zero damage to the home. My restaurant. Um, the, the whole roof came off. Um, it was only like maybe 35% in progress. So I lost the entire roof, but the decking stayed. And that was 100% mahogany at the time also. So there you guys go. It's already typhoon tested. Yeah. And uh, so now we'll take a look at the, the actual home itself. How many, how many bedrooms are inside? It's a two bedroom, two bath. All right, let's 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 take a look inside. So the house is built up, as you can see, a little over a meter high. And I did that, and it's um, all concrete. And the, it's got a six inch slab. So I backfilled inside of a big concrete wall and compacted it, watered it and stuff like that until it was compacted all the way down before I laid the six inch slab, um, all in one, one swoop. And then you got a one meter door. This is all custom. And then 
then you walk into the living room. All uh, the whole entire house is tiled all the way through, upstairs and downstairs. Nice and cool in here. Yeah, it is. AC. <laughs> Thanks for doing that for me. Yeah, AC's are, are working. Um, high ceilings in here. I don't know what those are. But I'm assuming it's probably 15, 16, 17 feet, something like that. Um, I did that because I wanted the industrial look up here. And then the roofing right here is 100% mahogany. And then the, um, the roofing sheets themselves is called Online. Online is uh, asphalt material that never will rust. And it survived no debt. Big concrete columns. It's, uh, you can actually, this is, uh, because it's a meter high and it has a, a, a big rooftop deck and as tall as the house is, it's actually considered a three story. So it has the structural analysis to support another story. And then you got the master bedroom. I made sure this was nice and big because that's, I, I like, you know, Westerners like big things, I guess. <laughs> and uh, all the uh, windows have screens on them. And then the back of the house, all this, originally we, we had a view of the whole sea, but my wife's landscaping uh, kind of blocked that a little bit, so, <laughs> so I lost that. But anyway, um, this, all the windows back here are 3 8 inch tempered glass. Um, to survive like, you know, hurricane today. Screen door, and then it opens up. And back here, I have three different uh, pens that I've created for dogs and animals and stuff. I got a couple huskies and stuff. They like running around. There you go. And then uh, the bathroom, you just got a sliding door here. It opens up into a double vanity. <clears throat> Walk-in shower, jacuzzi, toilet. I made this cabinet myself and I made the medicine cabinet, which is all the poses. I'm, happy. I'm really uh, stoked about that because I don't do woodwork. <laughs> uh, we all have our moments where, where we're proud of ourselves. And then behind this cabinet is uh, so, uh, storage that's underneath the seats. So it's kind of like a hidden story. Oh, wow. Right? It goes in pretty deep. It's kind of light. So you have to kind of be small to get in there. But that's all underneath the steps that lead up to the rooftop deck. Is that a Filipino thing to make no, under the... I just the... didn't want to waste the space. I didn't want to lose any space at all. Then you got the living room. All these couches open up into recliners, all ends of them do. Um, island, I did a double island in here because I wanted a large island because I love cooking, um, as you can tell by my kitchen. Well, this isn't only a home, it's a business. This is a uh, Lotromania all gas oven and stove top um, with a Venahood system, cabinets. Um, granite sink. Some of these cabinets do need to be fixed. They're a little off tracks and stuff. But... So there's a there's an actual vent in there. Yeah, it vents outside. It's not a it's not a Filipino home where it vents into the cabinet. No, it vents outside. <laughs> Very out, nice. Out the back wall. And then we got cabinets and stuff all underneath the the island here, shelving, and then more cabinet. It's a mirror image on the other side of this. And then a disinfectant cabinet. So after you're done doing your dishes and stuff by hand, you put them in here, turn it on, and in 20 minutes they've all been... Uh, Man, I need on. one of those. I can't tell you how bad all my cups smell. And then uh, a nice, huge refrigerator, freezer. Oop. Wow, don't... Um, you're living like a single man. Where's no, all the... I have it empty right now because it's actually on Airbnb and this house has been rented out. Uh, it's been rented out for the last three months, and it's uh, occupied until January 31st. So um, I'm making extra cash on Airbnb. Very nice. So, um, we got the uh, spare bathroom over here. 
Someone took a shower and it was just a little wet inside there. That was me. <laughs> someone, someone being you? Yeah. The guest bathroom, vent hood system up here also, and the emergency lights so will come back on. And then the, the blue room. <laughs> this room is blue. It is very blue. Uh, and that looks out kind of in the back of the restaurant there. It could, it could have a sea view if you move some of the plants. I'm sensing a little tension between you and your wife on the plants. Oh, no, 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 I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Don't get me wrong. The, the, the landscaping is beautiful. Back here is a, a thousand liter um, water tank, which supplies the house and the restaurant. Is that thing high enough? I have a, a motor hooked up. Oh, to okay. It. Got a pump. Perfect. So, That's what I need. Um, right now, the macaron uh, water is such high pressure. I'm not even using the pump. It's really? It's faster than using the pump. You have a you have a benefit of living here that I have no idea about. We have almost zero water pressure. Yeah, ours, is, ours is too much. I have to get a regulator. Hmm. And then this is the rooftop deck. This leads up to the rooftop deck. If you're wondering why this extends down here into the living room, okay. Um, if you're interested in buying the place, I'll tell you that story. <laughs> you know, I think I think everyone stares in the Philippines become a, store, a sore subject when it comes to the construction of it. I don't know one person that said, "Hey, you know what, Tim? I really love the way that my builders did the stairs." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this actually is the half bath. Um, this. Uh, I don't have a toilet in there right now because it broke. So you do actually have a half bath up here with a sink outside um, and then the rooftop deck. I closed it all in also, same thing, all mahogany with uh, on the line roofing sheets. All this flashing, all the gutters, everything, that's the uh, Hardy Flex. So it's, it's, you know, it's a cement board, but that's what, uh, that stuff's easily gonna come off usually during a typhoon, right? I had everything put in with six inch, six to eight inch uh, tech screws all the way around. Everything has screws. This house has almost zero to no, to no uh, nails. Um, so I didn't lose a piece of gutter, flashing, roofing, nothing on this house during Odette. And Odette was, was our equivalent, equivalent, I think, of a Category 4 uh, hurricane. Category 5. Yeah, I mean, it was really yeah. bad. And then here's your view from the rooftop deck. The beautiful Behold Sea. The restaurant. And you can see the landscaping much better from here also that my wife has done on this side and this side. It's just... Her landscaping is incredible. She's done a great job. All her plants stay alive. She waters them daily. You mean it gets dry in the Philippines, actually? Um, yeah. It does, well, even if it rains for two days, after it stops, it's dry again. It all soaks in. But all this is uh, tile also throughout. Um, I actually hand poured every one of these um, columns here for the railing. And, um, and then they've all got a reinforced steel inside of them also. And then this is reinforced steel also all the way around that we built and, and poured and then tiled. And as you can, you can see how big my columns are. So they're, they're, they're for a two story, they're massive. And then we have, I dropped down the uh, kitchen ceiling and I have storage up here inside that you can actually, it, it's strong enough to walk in. So you can walk in here. This is the roof of the, of the kitchen. So we got, got, got all, those are my broken toilet, see? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I think that concludes the house. Yeah. So now we'll move on to the backyard and the, the restaurant area. Let's go. All right, so we've come to the restaurant slash backyard. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the restaurant. She's the nice big huge parking lot here. Cool.
Hello. Hello. Another delivery. Then you walk up to the, to the restaurant. You can see the back of the house here. Again, the fence line, you can see from the corner down there all the way to the sea. The same on the other side of the, from the road, it goes behind the house all the way to the sea. So that concrete wall right there is actually our property line that goes out to the sea, behind the restaurant and all the way out to the sea. This is a million, millions of year old volcanic rock that my wife has decorated. You guys got to remember walking through this, this was a jungle when I bought it. It was covered, covered in, in, in overgrowth. You've tamed the jungle. And then here's the entrance to, this, to the white sand beach that we have here. During high tide, it's, it's perfect to swim here. There's no urchins, jellyfish, nothing like that. It's all white sand, you can go out there barefoot. And this uh, entire restaurant actually is built on mostly of the same kind of the volcanic rock that, that my wife decorated over there. All the concrete columns going in underneath. Yeah, that's it. And then this is the entrance. It's my beautiful wife, Lisa. There she is. <laughs> the, the, the Facebook and TikTok star. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have two rooms over here. Um, one of, I was going to originally have them uh, for rooms to rent, but they turned into my dry storage and office for the restaurant. And then the other one is a room uh, that me and my wife stay in when the house is on Airbnb. I'm not going to show you that room. It's, we're living in it right now. All right. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the entire deck of this restaurant is all 100% mahogany. It completely survived Odette. The decking. The decking. And at that time, I just had a decking in the roof. I had a different roof at the time. I, a different, I, at, the, at that time, I had on the line for this also, so it wouldn't rust being right next to the sea. Um, but after uh, Odette destroyed that, I decided to go with the native style Nippa. And I'm really glad I did. It's nice and cool in here underneath that. Pizza oven. So anybody who's interested in buying is gonna get everything here. Okay? All the furniture, all the equipment, um, everything. Me and my wife will take our clothes and my truck and and dogs and, uh, dogs <laughs> and my bike, my motorbike, and everything else is yours, including all my tools, dishes, everything. Okay. The open concept kitchen, so everybody here can see what's going on in the kitchen at a restaurant. Does Mary Chu come with the house? <laughs> Mary Chu does not come with the house. <laughs> no. she, she may Filipina come. not included. She may come with uh, the business for about six months until I want her back. But uh, she can get you going. Uh, three compartment sink, uh, three three compartment freezer, chiller, uh, flat top, three three uh, six burners back there, uh, two fryers, island, and the serving area. All these columns in the. Let's show this area real quick. All right. What's all back here? Mom. Okay. Thank you. See y'all later. Thanks, so, um, yeah, everything comes with the whole restaurant, like I said. These, these uh, columns are also 100% mahogany columns. They range anywhere between 6 and 8 inches. And they're all, that's what the whole the structure of the, the roofing and the system is. And I'll put all the railings up. The railings, I think, are all hardwood also through um, Odette. Um, the top of the railing. And then it's uh, bamboo. Again, all of these posts out here are also 100% hardwoods that was um, scavenged from Odette. CR. CR's actually got a toilet with a toilet seat. And I think there's toilet paper in there also. Free toilet paper with yeah. purchase. That's, that's uh, rare here in the Philippines. And the whole wall um, is also on hardwoods or the columns. And that walling is bamboo that was all hand cut 
to a product they call Sasa, which is a bamboo type wall. Pool table, bar area, fully stocked bar also. If you do want to buy this and turn this into a restaurant or keep it a restaurant, which you don't have to, you can turn it into just a, your own private patio area for, the, for this beautiful view here if you wanted to. Um, so you don't, you don't have to have a restaurant. You can make it whatever you want to do. You know, one time I thought about making every one of these little areas here inside here uh, rooms for rent, you know. So you, you never know. But full, fully stocked bar, two chillers there also. You got a chiller also in the, in the uh, kitchen. All the alcohol, all that stuff. Some of the recipes will come if you want them, but there's a lot of them that are uh, old family recipes I'm keeping. And that's about it um, for the restaurant. So we, when we built this, it took us, what, a year and a half? Two years? About, about two years to build everything um, and then rebuild everything. Um, the title work is 100% clear. Everything is already in my wife's my wife's name, um, so there's absolutely no disputes on property, which is also common here in the Philippines. Um, so it's 100% free and clear, taxes paid, titles in hand. Um, How much do you want? Um, I was getting there. I was getting there. You know, <laughs> you know I have to be practical. You know, this is my dream, and, and I don't really want to get rid of it. Um, you know, I, unfortunately, I have some medical issues I need to take care of, and uh, this is uh, the only way for me to accomplish that. So, after I do, you know, a year or so down the road after sale, I'm probably going to do this again somewhere else because um, I love it. Uh, but you're looking at about 19 million uh, Philippine peso, which is equivalent to around, depending on the exchange rate at the time. I'd say 325 to 340 thousand American. Um, 325 is uh, probably closer to the exchange at, in the last three years. So you're probably looking at about 325 thousand American. And then, what, what, how does a transfer like that happen? Um, is it by, you, you, by wire to Bank U.S. or no, yeah, or a bank. You can, you can just do bank to bank. bank, so, to bank. Yeah, so they're, they're banked. Uh, my wife's bank here in the Philippines. I've done that to her bank. She got the same bank. Right. Um, you know, many, 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 many times, and never had any problems. Yeah. So, it's, it's straight bank to bank. Well, it's a very wonderful property. The beach is really beautiful up here. It's even better during the high tide. And um, just want to thank our friend Kent for giving us the chance to see his property. And if you are interested in his property, do not contact me. Yeah. Contact him. So his information is in the description. Uh, your email address? Yeah, just contact uh, either me or my wife. Um, you can contact her at L-I-Z-A dot M-A-L-D-O. Facebook. That's her Facebook page, so go over there, follow her. She's got a lot of videos on there, too, that show this property and the beach and all kinds of things, um, her landscaping, so you might, might want to check her out on uh, lisa.maldo at yahoo. Not yahoo. Yeah, yahoo.com. Yeah, at yahoo.com is her email. Or you can contact me on my Facebook, K-E-N, and then Q-U-I-N-T-I-N. -I -I That's my Facebook profile. Um, so just message us through Messenger. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Um, because a lot of the times the uh, cell phone signal here is not great. Perfect. Well, we will put all of that in the the, <laughs> the description, so don't look too far. Uh, Kent's going to give me all that uh, to put perfectly in the description, so you can just click on it and email it if you're serious about the property or if you have questions. And uh, anything else? Any final words you'd like to add? Yeah, you know, we're we're busy, you know, all the time, you know, running this restaurant and stuff. So if we don't get back to you right away, you know, just just be patient. Um, but try to to uh, message us through Messenger, because that's going to be the, the fastest way. Perfect. And and the reason why no one is here at the restaurant today is because they're closed on Mondays. Today is a Monday, so 
that's why there's nobody here. We thought it'd be the perfect time for filming. And thanks so much, Kent and Lisa, for showing us everything and you guys. And hopefully if you're, you've are you learned something about what it is to build a proper property here and what it entails as far as some of the construction items and this beautiful place that you can make make your dream happen just like these two have made their dream happen here in the Philippines. So yeah, thank you guys very much. For, for, for serious buyers, we'll, 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 we'll explain everything. All right, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Take thank care. You.